Stop, drop the weapon! You're carrying concealed. You need to know where to put it on your body, how to draw from that position, what's advantages and disadvantages. We're here at TDI in Ohio, and this is Personal Defense. Hey, George. Today, hey, what's going on, man? Doing well. How you doing, George? So what we got going on here? Uh, just working on a little bit of concealed carry draws from an open front garment this afternoon, trying to get a little bit of practice in. Okay, all right. So uh, kind of tell me what you guys do here at TDI. Oh, I'll tell you what, put your ears on, okay. we'll shoot a little bit, and I'll okay. kind of talk my way through it. All right. What I'm working on today is just making sure that we get the garment clear to begin with. Okay. Making sure that we don't foul the butt of the pistol, having any problems clearing. So what we want to make sure we do is we're just going to get a good hook on the garment, ensure that it's clear. Draw the pistol to the once we're done there, we'll make sure the finger comes out of the trigger, come back, check 360, make sure our environment's clear, make sure we don't have any other problems. We'll take the support hand, get it out of the way, make sure the trigger finger comes well out, place that gun back in the holster. Sure. Is there some uh, different stuff that people that you see happen from this particular draw or Absolutely. something? That, that Absolutely. Different alternatives maybe? A couple alternatives we see that are taught different places, and some of them work well. We find one that's commonly referred to as a lapel slide. Okay. What you're taking from there is the hands again. We want to start in that same position all the time. We want to keep that common hand position. What happens from here is the hands come up to here, slide down past the butt of the pistol, roll the hand over again, draw, present, get your hits. The draw stroke itself doesn't change, just making sure that you have the garment clear exactly. and again, placing the pistol into the holster. Right. Now, let me ask you something. I noticed that uh, when your, your garment's open, um, that you're, you're kind of blading it behind your hip a little bit. And that's what, so if you're walking down and it opens up, the people can't see that you got a weapon? Absolutely. Show. It tends to make it a little more concealable. That way, if you do have a little bit of a breeze or something opens the garment some, you ensure that the blade of the body helps gotcha. guard the pistol from sight. Okay. Now, how about like a reload, right? Yep. I mean, let's say that you're engaging multiple targets or multiple shots have to be fired, and you're also concealing those. What's the difference with your how you're fanning that side of it? Absolutely. We actually try to do that the same because we tend to learn as a sure. mirror image. Okay. So if we can replicate the same draw stroke that we've decided on for a handgun, okay. we want to do the same thing for a magazine. Right. So what we'll do is the same basic draw stroke. We'll take this, draw, make our shot, and if right. this was a combat reload, we'll strip, make the same sweep, Place the magazine in, check our primary thread area. We'll come back, check, make sure our 360 is clear, and holster up. But it's best if you can mirror image as much as sure. possible both sides. That okay. way you're not confusing your system. All right, well, that's good. So what about something like I'm wearing? You know, I've oh, got like this kind of sweatshirt. Type yeah, we thing can on. work with that. Tell you what, what we tend to do with the closed front garments a lot is there's two specific methods that seem to be, again, that people gravitate to and seem to do the best with. One of the first ones that we teach and a lot of people use is you actually take your left hand, mm -hmm. bring it across the garment as far as you can to the bottom. Right. Pull it as high as you can trying to get right. to the chin. If you butt the pistol still right. fouled, Sweep it. clear it with the support or the primary hand. Right. And then the draw stroke the doesn't change draw. from there. Up, right. present to the target, align sights and press. At that point in time, you'll make sure your primary threat field's clear, check your 360, and then the support hand comes off the gun, picks the garment up, and puts it safely back in the holster with the primary hand. One of the mistakes that we see with that occasionally sure. is people get a little lazy with this hand. When the right hand comes right. across, they don't come up very far. And if we get really, as you can see there, snagged completely, right. no clearance of the gun sure. whatsoever. So we want to make sure we're very extreme. Actually try to bring this almost to the, to chin. the chin. That way we get a good clearing all the of the butt of the pistol. Right. Because the one thing we do not want is to have the garment hang. over the butt of the pistol. And then I pull garment. Yeah, That's or you draw the pistol and it starts out and it literally I've seen people yank the pistol right out of their oh, hand. Oh, wow. That's not going to be good in a fight. Yeah. That would be bad in a fight. It'd be That'd bad be training and everything. Yeah. Real bad. Real so bad. is there is there a way that I can use uh, just one hand? Because that's when I use two. Absolutely, absolutely. What we want to do there, because we want to, if possible, if we can leave this hand free to fend, uh -huh. fight, if it's a close quarter situation. Sure. The other method you can use is simply take the primary hand deep below the garment, right. create a hook, draw it high above, right. and stab back down. Bang, the right into it, and then come right back Exactly. Everything remains the same then. The draw stroke never changes, just the garment clearance. Nice. Put nice. it back with that, put it away, finger well, the trigger. Makes a nice, safe draw, nice, clean draw with the garment clear. Right. 
Outstanding, man. So we have the, the open chest and this one in the concealed carry. Absolutely. Great. Awesome work. Okay, we've discussed the, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the regular standard way of concealed carry and how to draw and whatnot, and there's a lot of alternatives out there, you know, such as fanny packs and, and putting it in your pocket, ankle holsters. You got all kind of under the shirt type stuff. So uh, let's kind of look at some of those right now and kind of see how it is drawing them and whatnot and the advantages, disadvantages. Yeah, absolutely. We run into a lot of uh, people that they can't carry things like this. Okay. They're stuck in offices, different types of uh, situations. Mm -hmm. They just can't carry traditional carry. So they've got to find alternate methods that they can carry a gun. One of them is the fanny pack. Works pretty well. Grab the rip cords, pull it down, pistol comes out, draw stroke, <laughs> you can get your hits off. It's a still pretty clean draw. You still want to make sure every all your other tactics are clear. Right. You can holster it pretty safely, zip it back up. And the nice thing is it's an easy routine you can continue to practice right. with also. Other methods to deal with as well as a fanny pack is a pocket carry. Okay. What we find with a pocket carry, it can be a little difficult to access it. So you're probably best if your environment's not safe or you're out at night, you're going through that parking garage, you're probably better off having the hand on the pistol already. Right. That way you're not having to stab in and find it, which makes it nice. You just clear the pistol out, come up, still get your hits pretty nicely like this, you know, come back, take care of everything. We do suggest not just dropping a pistol in your pocket. Okay. Far better off having one of these pocket holsters that are designed to stay in the pocket when okay. you draw and make sure of course, we want a covered trigger guard. Keep anything from possibly having an accidental discharge, sure. something like that. Sure. Okay. Absolutely. All right. Let me ask something about this: uh, the, the the fanny pack. A lot of people are scared. You know, oh man, I, if people know I got a gun when I'm wearing that fanny no. pack. I mean, do you find that being the case? No. In your gun experience? people know there's a gun in your fanny right. pack. General public, it's a fanny pack. So many people vacation, tourists, they just carry things in them. It's right. not a big deal. Gun people know there's guns in it. People that have no clue if they're not carrying a gun. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, I got a uh, pistol in uh, my back pocket. Oh, so, sure, sure. You know, um, same type thing. You know, I, I just reach in my back pocket. It, it's kind of difficult to pre-stage my hand in my back pocket. It's kind of obvious, but if I was going to get my wallet or whatnot, sure. I go and grab, I pull that thing out and I clear the holster and then I come out and I make my, I take my shot on my target. Absolutely. All right, so from here, I want to make sure that uh, I put it back into some kind of retention device, such as a, a holster. Right. Same thing, some kind of a, a holster that will maintain the gun in the pocket oriented and keep that trigger guard well protected. Okay. Well, I mean, some people carry stuff that uh, you may not agree with or some people may not agree with, but a lot of people use it. They have a, maybe a sitting job. Right. You know, I'm sitting in a car all day or I'm at my office and I don't get up and maybe I want to have an ankle holster. And that's I mean, a good place for ankle holsters. We find they're a little more difficult to access from a standing walking position. Sure. A doable, like you can. You reach so, down, grab the pants, pull as you step, and right. that will access the bottom. And, and what that does, that pulls it up to where I can access it. Absolutely. You know? And then I have my ankle holster sitting there right here, and I, I clear it out, and I can be able to engage targets from there. Right. And from here, you're in a static position. The nice thing is to be looking all the time for cover concealment that maybe you can step behind as you're making that okay. motion. Okay. All right. Well, I can see, uh, Dave, that a lot of these, you know, they're nice and all, but, but if there was a situation where your hands on with somebody, you Absolutely. know, tussling them with them, getting to some of these type of uh, devices and, and, and different concealed places may be very difficult. So is that, uh, is it that the reason why this is more understood to do the, the swing Absolutely. back? It makes it a lot easier to deal with. The other position's harder to deal with with a fight that's coming to you. Sure.